going to hear I'm going to start over. Okay. Hey, my name's Amber Horn. I live out in Oregon. I am a mom of six, grandma of two, and I'm excited to be here tonight because I get to share with you an opportunity that I first learned about three and a half years ago. And our family's life has completely changed, not only financially, but we were in a place where I, mom was struggling. I was struggling with who I was and my confidence. And I've plugged into this community and been financially compensated, but I found my myself again. And I'm going to tell you how and why. And I'm going to show you a little bit about what this community is about and how we have some really cool, simple systems that can help anyone succeed. I also get to talk to our CEO, Brian Underwood. He is on tonight and he is amazing and truly has a huge heart and passion for helping other people. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the mission of Prove It and this community, and really at the heart of who we are. We also have some friends on that are going to share their experience, but let me jump into what happened to me three and a half years ago. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Like I said, I am from Oregon. I would love to hear in the chat. Oh, we have someone from Texas. Awesome. Hello, Sassy Shay. Tennessee, another one from Texas, North Carolina. Thank you for joining us. We've got exciting things to talk about tonight. So three and a half years ago, I was in a position where I was just about done raising my kids. Um, I have six kids, like I said, and I'd raised most of them. I had to, our twins were the only ones left at home. And I had completely 100% plugged myself into raising my family. And I forgot who I was. I was struggling. I was a hundred pounds heavier than I am now. And I was looking for something, but I had no idea what I was looking for. And this opportunity, this company was presented, first of all, because I started drinking ketones. And I know a lot of you on this Zoom tonight drink ketones. Let me know what your favorite flavor is in the comments, in the chat. I love the strawberry peach. It's one of my favorites. But I started losing weight and I started getting energy and I started having control over my appetite and life was changing for me. And I decided, hey, I want to tell people about this. Like, I'm not going to keep this to myself. I want to let people know that I had found something that was really helping me and I wanted to impact my friends and family. And so I was presented this opportunity not only to make money, but to be compensated for making an impact, which is huge for me. I'm an impact person. I want to help other people with their health and wealth. And I was scared and nervous and didn't really want to jump in. I was a little resistant at the time. But let me tell you, that has been one of the best decisions of my life as I dived in to the layered learning program that we have here to really rediscover who I had lost for so many years and be able to be compensated for uh, my impact. I've taken my family to Hawaii. I've paid for my daughter's wedding. I get to drive a, a car paid for by the community um, for the impact that I'm making in the work that I'm doing. And that's available to all of you that plug into our systems, that have a heart for helping other people and really just sharing your journey and sharing your story, uh, getting your health where it needs to be and sharing your experience with that. So. I want to tell you a little bit about this company. The uh, mission statement for Prove It is uh, inspiring other people to become a better version of themselves. And that is truly what we do. We inspire. We are not <clears throat> a sales company. We are not here to um, get people to buy things from us. We are here to change lives. And Brian Underwood, who originally um, eight and a half years ago, kind of started this company, had that in mind. He truly wanted to inspire people. And I want to ask him a few questions. I want you to hear his heart and passion. He truly is a visionary. I also want to talk to him a little bit about uh, the business model because I know a lot of you have questions about that. And then I want to hear from him, like where we're going as a company and what the future holds, because that is what I am most truly excited about. There's some things coming that are really going to impact a lot of people in both their health and their wealth, which is exciting to me. So I am going to introduce you to Brian. Brian Underwood, if you are on, we would love to hear from you. And if you could just say hello, that'd be awesome. I am here. How are you doing? Amber. I am doing awesome. How are you? I'm doing good. Great introduction. Um, 
I know it is on the East Coast here getting a little bit late. I know probably there at the West Coast, you all are getting ready for dinner. Uh, but it's great to be on. I just got back from um, the uh, senior night for girls basketball. Um, Lorelei was playing in it, and they had a pink theme. So they were pinking it out tonight. So I got my pink on and uh, just made it home in time to uh, to be on the call with you all. So I'm super excited. Awesome. I love girls basketball. I played, uh, I don't know, I'm turning 50 this year. So, so many years ago and remember those senior nights, what a special time. So I love that you went and supported that. Yeah, I, I love it. So, um, so yeah. So you tell me where you want to start. I am uh, okay. all your. Awesome. Okay. I have a few questions for you. The first question that I wanted to ask you, I know a lot of people on this call are currently drinking ketones and they don't have a picture for like where this company was eight and a half years ago, what you set out to create here. And so if you could take us back to that time and kind of tell us how everything happened and how it came to pass. Yeah, no, I'd love to. I mean, I want to keep uh, mine as brief as possible. I understand there's a lot of guests on the call. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Um, if you're a guest and you feel like it, um, over in the chat, put a one. Um, if you are a promoter with Prove It or already a customer with Prove It, um, could you put a two just so I can kind of see the audience? Um, and again, I want to respect everyone's time. Um, but yeah, the journey started for me eight and a half years ago as an entrepreneur. Uh, my back was against the wall. Um, and having, you know, I wish I could come on here and just say that I'm this biochemist, this genius that created this incredible ingredient, um, and knew that we were going to like, you know, crush it in the marketplace. But the reality of it was, is I was an entrepreneur. Um, I've had some ups and some downs and some ups and some downs. And I was going through one of those transitions where my back was against the wall and I was down. Um, and I had someone believe in me enough that said, you got to get back on the horse. What do you want to do? And, you know, really for the last 15, maybe 20 years, uh, my entire focus or value in terms of driving business uh, has been how can I make the biggest impact? Like, how can we introduce a technology that can create a ripple effect in the world? And I'm a big believer that, you know, you ask and you shall receive. Um, and so really it was right place at the right time. Um, there was a couple people that brought us a patent as I knew that I wanted to do something in the consumable food business. But as you were looking at consumable foods or the supplement industry, there hasn't been a lot of innovation for years. There's been a lot of uh, turnover. There's been a lot of marketing spins. Um, and, you know, my entire filter process was it has to be unique. It has to be innovative. Um, and, you know, lo and behold, this technology fell in our laps and they said, this is the technology. This is the single patent around it. Um, and I didn't know anything about it. Uh, the only thing I knew is that um, I looked at it from a weight loss perspective. And I said, can you prove that this product works 100% of the time? And they said, yes. And I said, well, I can at least get a million people to buy it once. And the reality of it was, though, I asked myself another question, as I said, but is it real? Um, and the point that I'm sharing this uh, with you all is because I believe that as an entrepreneur, you have to look at opportunity. You have to look at where the markets are going. And so for me, I know that if we can innovate something and bring new value to people in the world that can make an impact, that there can be a lot of profit. There can be a lot of money made, right? Um, but more importantly is, uh, you know, is it real? Is it not just a, a marketing ploy? And that's the Pandora's box that to this day um, is still open. We're still learning so much about this ingredient that we took to the market. Um, and what I mean by that is we started with that one patent. We had 50 patents around this technology and this application uh, that we commercialized eight and a half years ago. Um, that's unheard of when it comes to a product. And we have 100 patents that are pending. I'm not saying that's impress anyone. It's just if you're a little bit cynical like I am, you might be asking yourself, yeah, but is this real? Like I still to this day when I start talking about the product, I feel like we're back in the 60s and one of those snake oil salesmen that's going from door to door because of the impact that this product is making um, and this technology is in the world. And so 
my goal was just, you know, hey, listen, how can we take this product to market? Because a lot of you might be saying, well, that's easy. If you have something that no one has ever had, it's easy. It's actually the hardest thing in the world to do is to take a technology and get people to adopt it. And, you know, and that's what we were able to do. And we did it with this one-to-one community-based marketing concept. Um, and, and, you know, we innovated because we knew we didn't want to come across and sell it. We knew that if we put this in Walmart and CV, CVS and the drugstores, people didn't know what it was. They would rock, walk right past it so it would fail miserably. And fortunately enough, is the first month that we introduced this product to a handful of select people, their results were overwhelming. And I said to myself, well, yeah, but placebo is real. Maybe they just said placebo. Um, and because of that, it really expanded. And we found ourselves the second month in business. We were 17,000 orders back ordered. And I don't believe it was just because of hype or we were selling because we use a position in the marketplace that we're really repositioning today. And that is educational marketing. We are educating people on something that was real, that we were commercializing. And that combined with the results that they were getting created this frenzy. And, um, and that was eight and a half years ago, which I'm going to say it was a very short time ago. And, uh, and Amber, I can't believe that we're even saying it's eight and a half years ago because it's gone by like this. And um, I really believe if you're a guest on this call, you might be looking at it just for the product standpoint, but I would really rather position it as where we are as a company because I believe that we are poised in position and that's why we're doing this call is we're looking for people to help us with really the adaption or the adoption of this technology for the mainstream market. And um, and that's where I believe all the opportunity is. And the, the first eight years, I wish I could say it was easy. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of great experiences, but there was a lot of great learning lessons uh, being you know the, the first to introduce it. Awesome. Okay. You mentioned impact and unique product. And those are the two reasons why I jumped in here. And I know a lot of people have because this product does truly have an impact on lives, but also you can't get pure therapeutic ketones anywhere else. Like there's lots of companies out there with weight loss shakes or with mascara or with leggings or whatever the product is, but this is the only place you will find pure therapeutic ketones that are having a huge impact on other people's lives. So I'm Glad you mentioned those two words. That That is why I'm here. But I also want to hear your thoughts on community-based marketing and what that means. I know your initials stand for BU, Brian Underwood. And I love that because I really feel like there's a community here of people. Um, we are community-based marketing where you can show up as yourself, be yourself, and you will fit in. You will be loved. You, you will be adopted for who you are. You don't have to pretend like you're somebody else. In fact, the more you can be you, the bigger impact you can have. So tell us a little about community-based marketing um, how people can succeed here and just the financial impact of what that means. No, I mean, I'd love to. I mean, I think, first of all, we we wanted to innovate how we initially took this product to market. And if you're on the call, as an entrepreneur, I always look at things as like, where is growth going? You know, um, and if you can figure out where growth is and where the markets are going and you can position yourself in front of that, then that growth can multiply and magnify your income. I'm not saying it's going to make you rich. I'm not saying that it's going to make you successful. There's a lot of variables to that. But I'm telling you right now that it's going to give you a great advantage to be able to do that, right? It's taking a lot of the intangibles and it's creating the environment for you to be able to do that. Um, and I'm, you know, played basketball all through high school and college. And so I'm a team sport person. And I just knew that that we want to support it with community, create creating community or raving fans. And I use this because I really learned this and educated myself through, um, you know, understanding traditional brands and how traditional brands have not only made an impact in the market, but they've stood the test of time. And if you take a look at brands such as Nike, if you take a look at brands such as uh, Star Wars as a brand, these brands have created such a emotional connection because of the experience and because of what they've introduced in the marketplace that's allowed them to transcend markets with the same audience, with the same fan base. 
So if Star Wars introduces a new movie or a new TV show, it's going to be successful because right now, 40 years later or five decades later, they've created equity in this experience with generations of people that they're wanting more of that experience, whatever that experience is. And they created that brand equity. And I feel like we can do that with consumers that are experiencing it the most. And that's why we coined the term community-based marketing, using people and communities to educate the marketplace, especially in, in the, in the phase that we were, that we were in. And the phase that we were in was really um, innovators. We were the innovators. And you got to understand that when you're in the innovative phase, if you look at an adoption curve, right? Anybody, anytime someone takes something to market, there's an adoption of taking it to market when it hasn't been done. Very few people have the risk tolerance, you know, or the savvy, or just the grit to stick it through as an innovator to see it to go from innovation to to early adoption, which is kind of going from bleeding edge technology to cutting edge. Because if you're an early innovator, only 2.5% of individuals are willing to even take the risk, you know, um, or even have the opportunity to, way less than that. And But usually those individuals, they're pioneers. So that's why they call it the bleeding edge phase. And during that bleeding edge phase, there's a lot of bloodshed or there's a lot of money spent experimenting, you know, trying to get something that is accepted in the market. Um, and then once that happens, there's a there's a there's then a shift to where a lot of investors really like you know the next two phases, and that's the early adopter phase. And when you take a look at early adopters, you can look at it from two standpoints. Right now, you can look at it from a financial entrepreneur standpoint, or you can look at it from a, a, a product standpoint. Right now, our product standpoint has penetrated less than one percent of the consumer base in the world, less than one half of 1% of the consumer base in the world, right? Early adopters would be 13 and a half percent. And they say, once it hits early adoption, that is when all the growth happens. That's when the magic happens, right? So think about this from an entrepreneur standpoint. If you're on the bleeding edge, you might lose your money as an investor. But if you can get in right when things are early adopting in that phase, it, it gives you a moderated risk with the highest rate of return. Or as an entrepreneur, it gives you the ability to ride the curve through the early adoption process, through that cutting edge technology. And then when the majority of the world knows about it and you start seeing it everywhere. And that's where we're positioned right now as a company. Um, and so, you know, you're going to see us take this community-based marketing model and shift it as we go through these phases to create even more acceleration in the market. And then once the early majority market gets it, there it's a safe opportunity, right? And then you have the late majority of people that come on board and then the laggards participate, whether it's financially or whether it's, um, you know, uh, from a product standpoint. Uh, but the reality of it is human beings today, most people deny something until it becomes evident. Then once it becomes evident, they have to accept it. By the time people accept something, it's too late to take advantage of what they had in front of them in the first place. And so I could be long-winded on this, but my point being is we just knew that the only way to even get this innovation to the market is through people. People that experience it like you, Amber, that got super passionate about it. You weren't necessarily looking to create a business. Now all of a sudden you have a business created because you started making money just sharing your experience and your excitement. Now we're going to start formalizing that and giving people the ability to really look at this from a business perspective. And I think all of you are understanding what's happening in the market. Am I getting too long-winded, Amber? Okay. So a lot of people, if you just look at what's happening in the market, I'm asking you to keep your brain open just for a second from a business perspective. And what's going on right now, where all the markets are going. And I always say like, Follow the wealthiest people in the world. What are they investing in? Where is their actions? Where are their interests? Because usually they're 10 years above and in front of everyone else. So just take a look at it, right? The word is longevity. You have all of the, the smartest people in the world right now are gravitating to it. The wealthiest people in the world, even in a down economy, a winter economy like we are, where they're investing their money is biotech, biotech, biotech. Why? 
because that is the future. And the future is the convergence of wellness and medical. It's not coming, it is here, right? You've heard so much about wellness for years and medical, but now it's coming together because of the intelligence that we have, the technology that we have in the world. And I know that change and that shift, a lot of people deny it until it becomes evident and realize that I might be one of those people in the past, but now I'm seeing it more and more. It's just like AI. Think about AI technology. That is happening so fast, it might scare people. And that's understandable. I can see how it would. And understand that change is inevitable, but it's it's accelerating what is happening. And so through new technology creates new opportunities. And that's where you have to keep your mind open for. And that's where we are as innovators is, you know, if you take a look at the people that have predicted the future, like Ray Croswell, right? He's by far the leading person on earth right now that when he predicts something that comes through, you know, or George Church from Harvard with the Genesis Project. These are some of the smartest people in the world. And what they're saying, they're talking a lot about the, um, oh, what's it called? The longevity escape velocity. And what that means is that more people are living longer today than ever before. And what they're saying is if we can hold on for 10 years, in 10 years, the acceleration, they're saying every year, new technology will allow us physiologically to grow a year younger. I know it seems crazy to believe, but take a look at the, the guy that started Venmo. Most of you have, have you all ever used Venmo? The guy that created that is a younger guy in his 40s. He created and sold it for close to a billion dollars. He has taken half of his fortune and he's invested in biotech. And his key goal is to reverse his aging. And he has the Guinness Book of World Re Record for biologically shifting his age backwards by using wellness and medical combined together. Because what everyone wanted, including you and me, is we're wanting to look at our health span along with our lifespan. So if we're going to live to 80, but we get sick from 60 and we stay, you know, in in and out of, of elements from 60 to 80, we have 20 years of misery and sick. That's not a quality of life. So now if we're going to live from 80 to 100, and that's what they're predicting, what we have to have is we have to have a foundation. Uh, and this is where everybody is wanting. We need that convergence to where our health span is congruent to our lifespan. I hope that makes sense for everyone. And that's where we're proving it right now today. We're poised in position to be the leader. The technology that we're talking about, BHV, right now the 50 patents, what our product does is backed by science and studies. And it's, I mean, it's, it's literally overwhelming. It is the most scientific and it's the number one ingredient ever created in the supplement world. And it was too expensive before. There wasn't even any raw material when we started with it, right? It was used in labs and it was used in very specific manners. To take the product that we have today, literally 10 years ago, it would have been $30, $40, $50 per one serving. But when you understand what it does, it gives what, what we all need, and that's clean energy. It gives us the base and the foundation of things like mitochondrial health, cellular health which is all factors of, of aging, muscle preservation. And so when I started, I had this thought that it was about weight loss. Yes, weight loss is important, but it's the most minimum aspect of what our product is. And I'm telling you, most of the people, when they initially bought our product, they initially have bought it based on thinking it's about weight loss. And where we're positioned and to understand is this is the core foundation for reversing aging. It's the core foundation to close that gap because it is true cellular energy. It's the only energy that you can exogenously take while you're in a fed state that can give you true cellular energy um, and signaling with the other cells in the body. That might go away over your everyone's head. It did mine. But the point being is that if that's where everything's going, I want to be in a position as an entrepreneur to be a part of it. And if I don't have millions of dollars to invest in biotech, I want to have the ability to create and pioneer and be a catalyst with a model that's going to take the most significant ingredient, BHB, ketones is what we offer, into the market so we can go from cutting or bleeding edge to cutting edge and create that early adopter 
and late major, majority adopter. And that's where wealth is going to be created for our company. Real wealth. I mean, we already have people that have generated seven figures and multiple seven figures with us just in that early bleeding edge technology. And so, um, so we're at a, a great time in the market and the economy um, because I think that right now you're going to find more people are looking for opportunity than ever before. So um, I know that was long winded, but that's why I'm so excited. I mean, that's why community based marketing and that's why we're evolving too. we're using the community to be a catalyst to take this technology across the world in our international expansion. But we're going to be innovating this year in so many new uh, new ways to really get more market adoption. Awesome. That just is so exciting, gets me pumped up. And it's crazy after eight and a half years that we're still at that early adoption phase. And I, I didn't realize that less than 1% of the world even knows about this stuff. So um, thank you for sharing. I'm excited. I'm pumped up. One last quick question for you, though. So we have a lot of people on here that um, may be thinking, uh, you know, should I partner with this company? Should I start sharing ketones? Should I um, become part of who we are? What would you say to somebody who is trying to make that decision? Well, um, I don't, I, I mean, it all depends on the person. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, decisions are the easiest thing in the world to, to make. I think a commitment to our decision is important. But I would just say this, look, if you're looking for opportunity and you have a desire to do something more right now, whether it's part-time or full-time, jump in. Um, you know, I, I know this for a fact is that there's a lot of opportunities out there in the world. I don't think that we're the only one, but I think we're one of the best. So I would just encourage them, if it's not prove it, you know, if you're looking for opportunity, what opportunity are you going to do and when are you going to get started? Because I find that most people where they hesitate is in the power of committing to a decision. So then what happens is they don't want to commit. So then therefore they don't make a decision. Um, you know, and, and the, at the lowest level is look, the thing that I'm passionate about is I don't believe the opportunities for everyone and that's okay. Um, find your opportunity, go for it. But I will say this, the one thing I am passionate about is that we are the category Kings from this perspective. Um, you know, we're the gold standard is, I will tell you this, no matter what you're doing in your life, keep this stuff in your body. Drink it once and twice daily. And I wish, you know, I adopted that certainty probably eight years ago. But eight and a half years ago, I was still a little bit cynical. And that's what really has given me fuel to know that regardless of where people are at, that we're bringing something to market that is making a major difference in people. Um First by the product, second by our community and business. Um, and, and that's really rewarding. Um, you know, and so I would just tell everybody, plug in. Like, you know, Amber said, you don't have to understand the technology. You don't have to be a biochemist. We have all that stuff covered for you. Because I think a lot of people, when they're looking at businesses, they're asking themselves, can I do this? Can I do what Amber does? Or can I do what Nick Martinez does? And you know, the answer is you should have seen Nick Martinez seven years ago, right? The answer is yes, um, you can, because we have systems that help do that for you. We want to do all the work for you. What we want you to do is just put your energy forth, put your story forth and um, and be part of the community because that's awesome. what creates raving fans and that's what creates real brands. And we want to reward you for that. I mean, it's no different than what Fortune 500 and Global 2000 companies are doing now, they're trying to find influencers to pay them to say their product's good rather than advertising on TV because that's how the world is transitioning. And for us, what we want to do is not go influencer down. We want to go to the average person up because that's what, to me, that's that's the, the main thing is, is, is the lowest or the, the least common denominator um, and so that is, that's why we've had success. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. And I really appreciate you taking the time tonight. I know you're super busy and I know it's very rare to have a CEO of such a large company come and talk to us and spend time with us. And I know it's because you truly care and you truly have, um, have a heart to help everybody win. So thank you so much, Brian. We appreciate you. No, I appreciate you. Talk to you soon, Amber. If you all haven't checked Amber out, she does some unbelievable like zoo. i don't even know how she does it but like the uh what are they they're called reels that's right like reels and uh she's a lot of fun and i think that's the key thing it's just have fun 
I think so much time, especially if you're our age, Amber and I's age, we look back in business and we think it has to be formal. In today's business, um, the most impactful companies now are creating the most fun and the most casual approach, uh, not this white collar world. And, and that's why I think everyone has an opportunity to really uh, be one of the early adopters and participate in the growth of what we're doing. And so, um, you know, if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. I appreciate you having me on, Amber. And uh, sorry if I was a little bit long-winded. I just get excited and amped up. We love it. Thank you so much. And he is not kidding when he say, says we have fun here. I remember going to my first event and they're like, stand up start dancing, shake your booty. And I was like, this is out of my comfort zone. But where I've, where I've come in the last three and a half years from just like being myself mm -hmm. and, and having a community that truly supports me and allows me to be silly and dance and have fun, like that's here too. So we have so many opportunities available. If you're looking for fun, if you're looking to make money, if you're looking for leadership opportunities, it's all here and you get to plug in and, and be the person that you want to be. And that's what's truly exciting here is a community that has been created. So thank you so much, Brian. Um, we are going to hear from a friend of mine. She has been with Prove It, I don't even know, but longer than me. I'm thinking five or six years, but she will tell you. Uh, her name is Amy Dove. And Amy, if you're here, if you'll come off mute and tell us a little bit about your journey here at Prove It. Hey guys, uh, my name is Amy. I'm here in Jackson, Tennessee. I am a mom of two adult kids and I'm married to my high school sweetheart and I'm the fur mom to three, yes, three dogs. And I'm not gonna tell you a whole lot about my, my personal life. I do wanna talk about Prove It. I wanna talk to you about the business opportunity and what has happened for me in my life since I said yes. So before Prove It, my Prove It business, I was a very busy very happy and very content mom and wife. Uh, I'm actually working with my family in a family business and we're successful and just, I honestly got paid a salary that was comfortable, created a stress-free living in most cases. Um, but I was a very content person in my happiness. I never thought outside the box. I never thought that there was more possibility for me. I have a very true God-given gift of inspiration and encouragement, and I always love to use it, but there's only so much I can do with that in the job I have. So when I said yes to prove it, things changed. Like I was able to dream bigger. I was able to have more opportunities to use my gifts. I started drinking ketones with no intentions of having a business at all. So I started drinking the ketones, but people naturally would say, where is this? Where are you getting this new energy? Like, why is your skin looking so good? Ron was just talking about anti-aging, this girl. <laughs> and people were asking me about the ketones. And I thought naturally, like, if I'm going to tell people about it, I want to get compensated for it. I want to get the benefits of sharing this product because I was not going to go without it. So when I started talking to my mom and my aunt and a couple of friends and coworkers, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And it all started, guys, with a little trial pack drawer. At my office, I have a little drawer in the side desk. And every time someone paid me for a trial pack because they wanted to try ketones or every time I cashed a check from someone who mailed me a check, I put it in my little cash drawer. And on date nights, I'd pull money out of the cash drawer and go on date night. And I had a goal originally of paying a house sitter, a, a housekeeper. Like I said, I have a salary at my full-time job with my family that's comfortable living, but I hate to clean. And I just wanted to pay my housekeeper. So I was able to do that. And look, at date night, I'd pull cash out of the drawer. When my daughter wanted to do something special for girls night, I'd pull cash out of the drawer. And one day my husband called and he said, what's going on? I said, what do you mean? He said, have you looked in the bank? So I pulled up the app and I'm like, wow. Like I didn't even realize I was taking money out of this cash drawer pretty much anytime I needed something. And my bank account was growing because I wasn't sliding my debit card. And I told Ricky, I was like, you know what? There could be something to this. And his immediate re reaction was, uh, honey, you do not need any responsibility. And I'm like, oh no, it's not like that. Like, this is fun. I really enjoy sharing ketones. Like, I've been having phone calls with people who are seeing ex are experiencing better health and better fun with their families and just feeling better and sleeping better. Like, this is fun. I want to do this. And I don't know about you guys, but I love kitchens. And I always find myself when Ricky's at the bookstore, looking through the magazines and just staring at these beautiful kitchens. Like, I love to watch uh, HGTV and see these beautiful kitchens. So I told Ricky, I was like, look, I think I can remodel my kitchen by sharing ketones. 
So my little cash drawer kept growing and growing and growing and I put it away and I put it away. Next thing I know, I've got a brand new kitchen that looks just like those magazines. And then I thought, you know what? I really want to get new floors. So I put new floors down in the house. Guys, I got a new pool after that. Got a back porch that I've been dreaming of since I built my house in 2001. We've had so much fun sharing ketones. Since the floors, my daughter has gotten married and I got to pay for that with no debt, not a single borrowing of a dollar to pay for my daughter's wedding. And when she got engaged, originally she was like, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. Like, let's just make it modest and small. I'm like, no, girl, we're going big. We're doing the shrimp. We're doing all the good stuff. We're going to have a big party. And it was so fun to be able to do that for my daughter and my family. We had the greatest time. Guys, besides that, with Prove It, I have been able to dream. My family has always been close and tight, and we've gone to the beaches of Florida. But guys, now I've gone to Mexico. We've gone to Jamaica together, the Dominican Republic. We've gone to New York together. We have a new trip scheduled already for this year to take my dad and my son-in-law to places they've never gone. I can't wait to visit um, Iceland with my friend this year. Like, I'm so excited. Now with Prove It, my dreams are humongous. And I get to put in as much time that I want. The thing about this business is you can do it small. You can do it big. You can do it part-time. Like Brian just said, you can do it full-time. You can work it in the nooks and crannies of your day, or you can spend as much time as you possibly want to, depending on your goals and your dreams that come when you get to experience the family and the community of Prove It. Since Prove It, I have had so much flexibility, bigger dreams, and an extended family because I have met so many amazing people that I can call friends and family through this community with Prove It. So guys, I hope that you're ready to say yes. I hope that you learn from Brian. I hope this excites you. I'm just a normal person like everybody else. A normal person. I'm not a millionaire. I don't have the tech background. I don't know all the science of ketones, but I know that I love to share things that people can change their lives with. And I get to use that God-given talent of encouragement and inspiration. And it feels wonderful to be a part of something so major. So thank you guys for inviting me to share. Awesome. Thank you, Amy and Iceland. Holy smokes. That's amazing. I'm so excited for you. Can't wait to hear all about it. And speaking of cash drawer, that's like one of my favorite parts of this is my husband is so cheap. Like if I wanted to go buy like a new outfit or go and shopping, like we have to talk about it. We have to budget for it. And now like I have my own little cash that I want an outfit guess what? I don't have to ask him if it's in the budget because it is in the budget. It's in my budget. And that is like the, the financial freedom that I feel here is amazing. So I am going to turn some time over to my friend, Nick. One of the things that I was worried about when I first started was that this was like being in a business is complicated and it's not. This is a super simple business. And Nick is so good at just helping us keep it simple. And if you keep it simple, you can be successful here. We have programs to plug into. But I'm going to let him share a little bit more about that. So, Nick, if you're here, we would love to hear from you. Awesome. What's happening? Thank you, uh, Amber. Thank you, Amy. It was so great to hear Brian. Uh, anytime I hear him speak, I just get excited for the future of what we have our hands on and the direction that we're going. Uh, if I haven't met you yet, I live out in Minnesota. I've been drinking and sharing ketones now for eight years, and I used to be a full-time airline pilot. And ironically, I was actually introduced to this pack, not this exact pack, but these packs of white magical powder uh, by a flight attendant who called me. She and her husband are good friends of mine, called me and said, Nick, we found it. And I said, what did you find? She's like, ketones you can drink. It puts you in ketosis. We've been in there from the diet. We never maintained it. But when we drank this stuff, we felt the same way. And I, I basically just said, okay, that's great. She's like, Nick, you don't understand. This is going to change the world. And it's going to change our lives. We can create an incredible business just by helping people with this stuff. And for some reason, their level of excitement and intensity and like enthusiasm and joy around this got me excited enough to go online, buy a whole bunch of the product, uh, became a promoter, didn't know if I was going to love it or hate it. But I figured, you know what, if, if this works, like this could this could be a game changer. That was eight years ago. And very quickly, I became the keto crack dealer at the airline I was drinking ketones uh, in the cockpit. The pilots were asking me what I was drinking. Uh, they would get a, a taste. I'd give them like one pack, then they're buying five or they're buying 10 from me. Uh, next thing I know, I'm, I'm dropping, you know, packets of white magical powder into their V-files. They're putting envelopes of cash into my V-file. Uh, and I realized, okay, there's, there's something to this. 
So that was eight years ago. I walked away from flying airplanes about six years ago. And now we've just been helping people uh, not only achieve great health, but also create amazing businesses in the process. Uh, and it's through a simple system. So if you're like me, when I got started, I was busy. I had a full-time job. My wife had a full-time job as at a web development company. Uh, we had a two-year-old and a baby on the way. So we were not looking for anything extra. Uh, however, we were looking for extra income in order to help just create some flexibility like you heard Amy talk about, and like you've heard Am Amber talk about. Um, but I didn't realize it could be this, this powerful. So you're probably wondering at this point, like, all right, I heard Amy said she shares this and she gets paid. Uh, I heard Nick say that you can make money with this. How does that actually work? Um, I'm going to take two minutes and then we're going to wrap up here to really just kind of talk through that. So number one, you get started, you're going to get ketones. If you're already drinking them, you're probably, maybe you got our Nat 20 variety box. Maybe you've got our ultimate transformation system with our Pro 10 packs and our iFast. You're drinking them yourself, right? You're experiencing it. Uh, if you've never drank them, awesome. You can start like I did, which was just get a bunch of product and start drinking it and sharing it at the same time. Uh, but now what we're going to do is teach you how to introduce this and not how to just be a like a hard-handed salesperson where you're trying to twist people's arms. We're going to teach you how to share your story to inspire others to create curiosity so that people are reaching out to you saying, all right, what are you doing? How do I get that? Right? It wasn't by accident when I was in the cockpit drinking this. I'd shake up my shaker bottle really loud. The guy next to me is like, what you doing? I'm like, oh, you're not drinking this stuff yet? They're like, no. What? What is it? Oh, here, try one. Like there's a whole process. We're going to walk you through that. We're going to teach you that we have a system that kind of trains you on exactly what to say, how to say it, what to do, where people are, are going to ask you. They're going to be curious. They start to try it. Now they have an experience. Now what they're going to do is order through your website. When somebody orders through your website, guess what? You get website money. Um, you've probably heard of uh, people having their own little Etsy stores or Amazon links or you fill in the blank. You get your own prove it link. And then when somebody orders ketones through you, you get paid commissions. And we have bonuses that you can earn when you hit certain levels and tons of different things. So we actually have a really cool program right now called the Ultimate Transformation System, which is a, our Keto Nat. It's our uh, IFAST system and our Pro 10. And when somebody buys that, if you help seven people purchase that in your first 30 days, you'll earn over 700 bucks. And you can do that multiple times. You can do that up to three times uh, just getting started within our compensation plan. And then from there, like whatever you want to create is possible, right? Because this is a... The, the beauty of this is it, it depends on people, sharing with people, educating, inviting people to Zooms like this, not being the expert, right? All you have to do is invite them. We had a Zoom a couple nights ago with a doctor who helps formulate these products and wrote the book, The Ketogenic Bible. He answered all the questions that people had. I was able to invite friends to that. They learned about ketones. Now they're ordering ketones and now my business has been built, right? And that's super fun. The other neat thing with this is it's it's not just a short-term business. Uh, I think it was a few days ago, I got a, a notification on my app through Prove It that said somebody had ordered. I clicked on their name and it was one of those guys that I used to fly with, Justin Hickson, that ordered back in 2015 and he's still ordering today. And I haven't talked to him probably for six years. So what's cool about that is I get paid every time that he places that order and you know whether it's $10 or $30, like that's just a constant little income source. Now you pile that up over the action that I've taken and then have a few more people who are spreading it. It gets to be pretty exciting. So I'm going to share with you the, just to end here and then we're going to sign off. Uh, this is the three different, like a couple different options to get started. Number one, if you're not drinking ketones yet, I want you to get some ketones in your hands, right? So I want you to grab like the very minimum, grab this box of Nat 20. This is a variety box of ketones. So if you're new and you don't have any ketones yet and you're just like, I just want to dip my toe in the water. This is how you start. If you're somebody that's like, I want to transform, I'm ready to go to the next level. I want you to grab our ultimate transformation system, which gives you a little bit more, right? And a whole guide and just a whole system to follow. That's going to help you transform and really hit your goals this year instead of waiting, instead of hemming and hawing, just jump in with that. But if you resonated with anything that we talked about tonight, I'm going to invite you to grab one of our promoter systems. And there's three of them I'm going to talk through really quick. Uh, they're great options. None of them are the right or the wrong option. You just got to choose the right option for you. And you're going to hit the ground running with these packs. We're going to teach you how to use them. So I'm going to share my screen real quick so you can see it. Whoever invited you here has their own Prove It website. So after this Zoom, shoot them a message and say, hey, I want to start with that NAC 20 box, or I want to start with the Ultimate Transformation System, or I want to start as a promoter. Tell them how you want to start. They will send you their specific link uh, so that you're connected with them. 
But there's the max, the mega, and then the other one that I'll draw your attention to here is the transformation brand builder kit. So these three packs are the ones that I'm going to recommend. Uh, the max gives you six boxes of ketones, 20 servings per box. The mega is 12 boxes, also 20 servings per box. You're getting a bigger discount, obviously, because you're buying more with the mega. So it's 558 uh, or 1,000. Uh, you also get a really cool deal with the Mega, which is a rank five pass. We're going to pay you at the fifth rank in our compensation plan for the first year, regardless of if you hit it. So there's some extra little perks there. And then this one down here, I'm probably the most excited about, and it's just been a great option for those that maybe don't have ketones yet or just kind of getting started, because this gives you that ultimate transformation system as well as extra ketones to share. And if you're somebody that's like, Nick, I don't have a lot of extra funds right now. Um, that's okay because a lot of people have started and they had no dollars to their name. Uh, but what they were excited about with these packs is we teach you how to create instant cash. You heard Amy talk about the cash in an envelope. You heard uh, Amber talk about cash. Well, we teach you how to sell through these as trials. And then as a result, you're getting people to experience the product in five or 10 servings. Uh, we do five for 40, 10 for 75. If you sell through this max pack, you'll actually bring in $960. Through the mega pack, you'll bring in over $1,900. And with, if you drink half of this and then sell the other half, you're going to bring in like 480 bucks. So the cost ends up being minimal. And we can teach you how to basically beat your box, how to get all of that money collected up front. So literally, once your order comes in, like you've got the product going out. And then that's just the beginning, right? That's just the beginning. So whatever it is that you want to create, whether you're just looking to help some people, be part of an amazing community, uh, just have an environment where you're going to like win, this is the place to be. Grab one of those packs. If you're somebody that's like, man, Nick, I'd love to supplement my income and go on more trips like you heard Amy talk about, then this is the place to be. And one of those packs is going to be a good fit. If you're somebody that is maybe like me that was looking for an opportunity that will allow you to make a shift right? And maybe shift the trajectory of the career that you started from a young age. I was 12 years old when I decided to be a pilot. I loved it, but I also decided at, at a point where like, I'd love to have freedom. I'd love to have not be tied to this schedule every single day. I didn't know that was possible until I was introduced to this. And somebody said, Nick, did you know that like you could actually make more than pilot income here? I'm like, really? Is that a real thing? And they're like, well, it's going to take a little bit of effort. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it's possible if you commit to it. Brian said, if you commit to a decision, right? And oftentimes we overestimate what we can do in a year, but we underestimate what we can do in three to five years. So what I would invite you to do is get started with us, right? Set some small goals for the first year and then dream a little bit. What do you want to create? If if success was the only option, if, if failure was completely off the table in three to five years, what would life look like? And that's called dreaming again. And honestly, if you do that a little bit, all of a sudden you realize, okay, there is a vehicle that can help that happen, that can, that can actually allow that to take place. So thanks so much for having me on, Amber and uh, Amy for sharing. And it was great to hear from Brian and we'll turn it back to you. Thank you so much, Nick. I love what you said about, um, you know, taking the, this opportunity. I know when I first started, I was hesitant. I was scared. I was nervous. And I remember one day I was telling my kids, hey, if you want change, if you want to grow, if you want to develop, you have to take that action. You have to take that step. You can't just stay in your scared and nervous bubble. And I remember being invited to my first prove it event the very next day. And I said, Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm not going. And then I remembered that conversation I had with my with my kids, which probably many of you have had with your kids, that you have to take that step, you have to get a little uncomfortable. If you want change in your life, if you want to grow, if you want to develop, if you want something new and exciting. So I would invite you to take that little step tonight and make a decision on whether or not you want to join us and take one of those options that Nick presented to us. And get back with whoever invited you to this call let them know what you want to do and if you decide to join us we will welcome you with open arms and be super excited um, to start working with you so anyways thanks for joining us thank you nick thank you amy thank you brian and have an awesome evening